Hello, um, welcome to um, my Facebook Live online um, essential oils foundation class. Um, I just thought I'm going to do this online today. Um, gives you a chance to um, stay at home and um, learn about essential oils from the comfort of your own sofa and no need to find babysitters. Um, so um, yeah, I would love to hear uh, whether you uh, whether you like the idea of doing an online um, an online class. And um, um, yeah, welcome if you um, joining me, and uh, welcome if you uh, watch it on the replay. And if you watch it on the replay, uh, leave me a comment with um, saying replay. Um, and um, at any time, write a comment. Let me know that you're there. Um, so it's so nice to talk about um, essential oils because it's something that I've um, I've been feeling passionate about for quite a long time now. Um, um, I have been using essential oils uh, for years, but um, only in the last year and a half um, have I um, learned how many uses there are for essential oils. <clears throat> I used to think that you just use them to put in a um, little um, candle burner, which is, by the way, um, not a good thing to do with essential oils, put it in a candle burner because the heat of the candle compromises the therapeutic um, qualities of the oil. But that's how I used to use it and it just made the room smell nice and um, I thought that that's what it was for. And now I've learned that um, essential oils are amazing for um, natural health. And um, um, I just think it's such a good thing that you can have a, an alternative to um, um, pharmaceutical um, medication if you have an ailment. Um, and I do um, appreciate pharmaceuticals and I'm um, very grateful that we can use them when we really need to. But there are definitely downsides to using pharmaceutical medication and side effects. Um, and um, recently in the press there have been um, quite a few articles about how um, ph uh, pharmaceutical medication is being over-prescribed and uh, so many people um, are on medication and a lot of that um, is medication to treat side effects of medication it took in the first place. So <clears throat> I think that's a great shame, especially now I know that there are um, um, many great alternatives. Now, there are other uh, alternative um, healthcare remedies, uh, and I've used um, quite a few of them before. But um, today we're going to talk about essential oils because um, that's what I'm all about these days. So you may be wondering, I've been putting out these posts on my Facebook and, um, you know, if I've seen you face to face, I may have um, accidentally um, bored you with um, um, with fun facts about essential oils. But maybe you've already got some essential oils and you're not quite sure what to do with them, or maybe um, you, you are considering getting some. And so I just thought I'd go through um, the 10 most used oils and if you would have these 10 oils then um, basically that is your nature's medicine cabinet um, nearly um, well, I'm not saying nearly all but uh, I've worked out the other day that there are at least 150 ailments um, both physical and emotional that you can um, treat with um, with these 10 essential oils so that's why I thought it'd be worthwhile looking into them um, now, if you're not um, familiar with essential oils and you wonder what they are, they are um, aromatic compounds and they're from um, plants or trees, um, they could be from the bark or the stem or the seeds, um, leaves, um, and um, they um, are used by plants um, and they could be used for um, um, they could they could be used to protect the plant or the tree. Um, hi Sue, hi Magdalena, nice to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, so uh, the plants use these um, these compounds to either um, maybe uh, repel 
predators or um, insects or um, help them uh, self heal and um, um, if uh, they get any diseases um, and years I mean hundreds and hundreds of years ago people uh, found out that we can use these uh, compounds too uh, and the way that works um, as the as we have um, inhale these uh, compounds or we uh, use them topically uh, they have an effect on our uh, mental and physical health uh, so for example if we um, inhale an essential oil uh, it works through um, our limbic brain um, and um, via the uh, olfactory bulb and and that affects uh, a lot of uh, functionality uh, in our bodies um, so if you think that um, um, essential oils are um, some kind of um, witchcraft or some sort of um, made up um, remedy, um, you couldn't be further from the truth. And, and please do contact me if you feel like you would like to see some, some science because it, it is all very sci scientifically based. And um, to be honest, I, I wouldn't really like it if it wasn't. Um, you know, having studied science myself, uh, I, I really am interested in, in um, scientific evidence of um, of these things. So um, I'm, I'm pleased to say that um, um, you, you can explain how these um, aromatic compounds um, affect our health in a beneficial way. So it's a very safe and effective way uh, to treat ailments and uh, emotional issues um, and um, a lot of people say that there are no side effects to essential oils I, I would say that there are side effects but they're all good side effects um, so if there are any um, any um, other things that are being addressed by the oils there will be good things um, so um, for example um, a lavender oil which is a very you know a well-known oil and most people are familiar um, with lavender oil and use it for um, restful sleep. Um, it is very uh, calming oil and so it will uh, help if you are feeling stressed. Uh, so it works on that emotional level but uh, lavender oil is also uh, very good for skin issues. So if you have any burns or any um, cuts um, lavender oil is great or acne uh, eczema all these kinds of things and so uh, those are just two uses but if you would um, google or look in any sort of reference literature look up an oil then you will see that there are hundreds of use for for one oil um, and um, they're all good so um, that's great so um, the lavender oil, the, the, the Terra lavender oil is, um, looks like this, are you seeing that in mirror image? Maybe not. Um, doTERRA is the company that I um, use for my essential oils. doTERRA means gift from the earth and these are literally gifts from the earth. They are totally pure, um, untampered with, unlike many, many essential oils that you buy elsewhere. So I just know that if I buy these oils, then I don't have to worry about the quality of them. Uh, they're always independently, um, every batch is independently checked for quality. Um, and they are um, certified, pure, therapeutic grade oils. So that means that um, they work basically, and that they don't harm you. And and if you smell, so this is a lavender, it's really nice. It does always remind me a little bit of um, old ladies. But having said that, I'm probably getting to be an old lady myself. Um, lovely smell, but if you would compare this smell to maybe an old bottle of lavender that you got for free with, a, um, with uh, one of those heat up cushions that you buy, you would actually be able to tell the difference in the quality because it's just, um, it smells so potent. Um, and um, lavender is, like I said, great for, um, for um, stress management, uh, for restful sleep, um, but also for skin issues. Now, 
Um, with the oils, there are three ways in which you can use the oils. So um, the first way would be uh, aromatically, and basically that means that you sniff it. And whether you sniff it from a diffuser or you could use um, your um, use your hands as a diffuser, just put a drop on your hands and just rub your hands together and just inhale it. And immediately um, you will feel the effects. It doesn't take long with oils, that's the nice thing too. You don't have to wait very long for it to work. Um, mostly within minutes uh, they start to have an effect. Um, now you could also use a diffuser. I would suggest if you use a diffuser, and I mentioned this before, don't use the little um, oil burner diffusers um, as nice as they are because I do really like the look of them. Um, um, they do compromise uh, the benefits, the therapeutic benefits of the oil. So I suggest that you use um, an electrical diffuser and that you get a good quality one with um, to make sure. So this is the one that I use and that's the one that I got when I um, got my kit, my Home Essentials kit, which um, has all the 10 oils in that I'm talking about today. And that came with this beautiful diffuser. Has a little light, I haven't got it switched um, in now, but it does have a little light as well, which you can have on or off. Um, but it's really important that when you do buy one that you get a good quality one, because there's a bit in the middle there, and if that's not of the right, made of the right material, then that can also affect um, the oil. So then um, the oil can um, cause if it's like a nasty plastic, it can cause that to disintegrate. So you really want to get a nice diffuser. So that's um, aromatically. Um, and then if you have small children, um, you can just put a little bit of uh, oil on yourself and just, or um, even on your clothes and give them a, a nice hug and, and they will then also um, use the oils aromatically. The nice thing about diffuser is that it will work in the whole room so you can hit a whole lot of people in one uh, in one go um, and also you can be a little bit sneaky about it um, if you feel that the mood is a, a little bit low in the house or um, um, you know feel people need a little you can affect their mood which is great um, just having a little uh, a little look at the uh, Comments. Oh, Deborah is saying it doesn't look how you got on this video. Well, it says it's on my Facebook page, so you just go on the Facebook page. Hopefully, that's clear. But if not, I'll leave the video on. So, um, if you like, do share with other people, and they can then um, uh, they can just watch it on the replay. Not a problem. So, diffusing. Then the next one um, is uh, topical. So, I would suggest if you use oils topically, which means that you put it on your skin that you um, mix them with a carrier oil and the um, uh, best one probably uh, fractionated coconut oil uh, if you don't have that I would use like another um, pure oil like um, an extra virgin olive oil or maybe you've got some uh, almond oil um, and mix it um, just to make sure some oils can be hot oils and if you don't know what you're doing then better be safe and um, and dilute them and as it happens lavender is a very um, um, safe oil to use uh, topically if I don't have any oil on me and uh, I do need to use some then I'm not worried about using that neat but if in doubt always use a carrier oil and so you mix it and topically you would use oils um, if uh, there is an issue that you can point at. So if you have a tummy ache, or if you have, um, you know, uh, a cut or a burn, you know where it is. Then it's a good idea to put it on, to put it on there. Um, so use the oil uh, with the with the carrier oil, and then just apply it. The great thing about using a carrier oil as well is that it locks it in a little bit on uh, that location. So, so if you have a cut in your hand, if you would put neat oil on it. It travels through the skin layers much faster than it would if it was blended with a carrier oil. So with a carrier oil, it stays in that location for a little bit longer and it, wor and it works where you want it to work. So um, that's the good thing about that. Also, if you, you don't need to use a lot of oil. So each of these bottles contain about 250 drops of oil. You only need one drop at a time. Um, so you can see how, you know, how long a bottle like this will last you. Um, and if you have something topically and you want to put it on there, 
if you don't use a carrier oil, one drop of lavender oil is quite difficult to spread that out over a larger area. So that's also the good thing about a carrier oil is that it's easier to um, to uh, rub it in. So the ones topically, basically in the ten most used oils, um, obviously would be lavender, but uh, the other one would be our um, um, soothing blend. It's called Deep Blue and um this smells like your typical um nicer though but your typical muscle rub you smell it so it's got that sort of camphor type smell that um my husband thinks it smells of either um rugby players or old women again um um why well, women could be men as well um so sore joints and muscles um, any tension, that's what you use that on. Or you can use it um, before exercise. It's really nice sometimes before I go running, I put that on uh, my lower back or sometimes get a lower back ache. And whilst you exercise and your body warms up, this warms up really nicely and uh, so it's very soothing. Um, that's why it's called the soothing blend. And um, some people don't, don't like the smell that much because it is that sort of muscle rock smell, but uh, I don't mind it at all. And um, some people, and I think it is Deborah, and she's on. Hi, Deborah. Um, finds it also very soothing for uh, the mood. So uh, again, you know, multiple uh, multiple uses. Obviously, for that you just have to smell it, and you don't have to um, rub it on anything. But definitely this one. Um, use dilute it with a carrier oil much easier to apply so that's a great one for that and another one that's really great for uh, topical use is the zengest which is our digestive blend um, and again that's one you know basically <sighs> carry it in your handbag because if you ever feel um, bloated or you have any tummy issues so basically um, anything um, between the pie hole and the poo hole Zengest, your friend, um, could be constipation, could be diarrhea. Uh, great on uh, babies, colicky babies. Obviously, definitely with children and babies, dilute with um, some carry oil, and then you can just rub it on the tummy, and um, that will already help. Actually, we also found um, the other day great for hiccups. If I have hiccups, just drop a zengest in a bit of water, um, drink it. So that brings us to the um, third way of using the oils, which is ingesting. You can ingest these oils, which is amazing. And I would definitely uh, not suggest that you do that with any other make of oils. You may be able to, but I don't know. So um, you're on your own if you're doing that. I would hazard a guess that you cannot because a lot of oils have other ingredients in that you should not be ingesting. So um, don't do that. And that's another reason why I use the doTERRA oils because um, it is actually um, one of my favorite ways of using most of the oils is um, ingesting them. Um, Zengest smells of um, aniseed. So I quite like that. But if you don't like the taste of any of these oils, and the likelihood is that some of them you may not like, then we've got these veggie caps, and they're just little capsules, and you can put the drops in the veggie caps and just um, swallow them like like you would pills, and then they, the outside, the caps will disintegrate um, inside you, and then the oils will start doing their, their magic. Um, but like I said, I, I'm very hardy, and I, I, um, I don't mind. I just put a... Um, I mean, often it's said it's good to put a drop on the, your tongue or on the roof of your mouth, but um, I do that sometimes, put it on my finger and then put it in my mouth, but I don't know, often no, I do it quite quickly, put it on the, the drop on the top of my hand and just lick it off, and that works. So um, put it in a little bit of water, some people um, put it in a bit of honey, and um, I won't name any names, but some people put it in Nutella. Um, I kid you not. but. It still works, so um, we'll have a float your boat. Um, so Zengest is great for any any digestive uh, issues or tummy aches. Um, so yeah, definitely if you're traveling, always um, uh, have this on you uh, because often when you go abroad um, or come Christmas time, you're bloating from uh, eating all the rubbish food and the good food sprouts 
sprouts from bloat you too probably um so yeah that's that's uh one definitely internal um whilst we're on the blends since we've gone through the uh, the deep blue blend and the zinger's blend there's another blend that is a massive favorite of mine definitely this time of year is on guard great name on guard um on guard is the protective blend and it protects you from seasonal threats and seasonal threats um uh, like bugs allergies um the flu everybody i talk to at the moment is ill uh, all their kids are ill everybody's throwing up and um i'm well um and um well, knock on wood um i take a drop of on guard at least every day um and put, you can put that in a diffuser well, it smells lovely and it actually smells like christmas it is it's got cloves in and uh, orange peel um it's really 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 beautiful um but it's quite a hot oil so if you ingest it again i'm fine i can just you know take a drop in my mouth but that is quite a um a hot oil and a lot of people will uh get a shock if they uh ingest it like they put it in the water or a bit of honey or you use the capsules and these actually also come in pre uh prepared capsules or beadlets even so i would suggest in um the winter time to have a drop of this every day and if you're feeling under the weather or you feel like you're coming down with something then up the game um, so with the oils I wouldn't take more drops in one go uh, I would just take still take one um, and then see how it goes and then maybe after an hour take another one so you don't need to overdo it um, Often, if it's a thin oil, like lemon oil is very thin, it's, it's very difficult to get one drop out because as you pull the bottle back, another drop comes out and that's not a problem. Um, you're not going to OD on it, so um, don't worry about that. So one to two drops and then see how you go and then just have some more if you feel like you need to have some more. And if you uh, did pick up an infection, then um, I would go in with the big boys. Now, the biggest boy, why is it a boy? It could be a girl. It's, I'm, I'm rambling now, it's oregano. Oregano is, um, or oregano if you're American, is nature's antibiotic. It it really works. Uh, I can't rave about this um, enough. If you feel you're coming down with a bug, um, just uh, what I do, I've got a rollerball made up with this. You can also actually buy the rollerball ready made but I've got the oil so I make up my own oil of oils. Um, I put a little bit on the inside of the wrists, a little bit the back at the base of the neck and, um, and maybe under the soles of the feet is also a very good uh, place to put the oils. It gets absorbed very quickly and within 20-30 minutes it will be um, all over your body doing its doing its work and uh, with oregano it really works like an antibiotic um, it's antiviral antifungal um, antibacterial and the great thing about the oils is um, unlike um, pharmaceutical medication they can actually work intracellular so they can work inside the cells um, and i can't think of a medication that can do that unless maybe we're talking chemotherapy um, so and and when you have a um, a viral infection you go to see the doctor if you get an appointment that is then um, there's nothing they could do they just said just go home and rest because um, um, antibiotics don't work on that so uh, you just have to um, rest and drink lots of water and hope that it goes wait till it goes away um, but with the oils you can actually do something which is great and especially if you um, have children and they wake up in the night and they've got a, an earache um, what do you do it, you know if you don't have oils you've got to wait till the next morning um, see if you can get an appointment maybe with children you're more lucky than uh, if you're an adult and then it's even harder to get an appointment Okay, so you get your appointment. By then, it's hours and hours later, and, and you haven't been able to do anything. Well, maybe you give them Calpol or, or Nurofen, um, and these um, uh, medications are not great to use very often. Um, you know, I don't want to like scaremonger against painkillers, but I think we all know that it's not good to use to use those on a regular basis. And um, 
and the, the non-steroidal um, um, anti-inflammatory uh, drugs like ibuprofen are actually really bad for your gut health. Um, and, and when your gut health is compromised, then um, your immune system is compromised, uh, your mood, it's just really, um, you know, all around bad for you. Um, so we're hours later, you're at the doctor's, first they give you, always give you this, um, what's it called, can I pronounce it, amoxicillin uh, antibiotic that um, I, I actually think the whole uh, bacterial world is um, resistant to that one. Well, that's the one you get first. And then so you go home, give that to your child, still messes with their gut. Um, but it doesn't work. So then you have to make another appointment. You go back and hope you do, they might do a swap. You hope you get the right one. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you get the picture. Um, if you have lavender and melaleuca, melaleuca, by the way, is um, tea tree. Um, you've got your you've got your remedy ready to go. Dilute it with oil. Lavender together with um, melaleuca is great for ear infections. So melaleuca is another um a uh, very good antibacterial one and so if i feel like i might get ill or if i've been hanging out with um people who are coughing and spluttering all over the place i do i use melaleuca and oregano and on guard um i go hard and i just you know put it on on my wrist under my feet and um well like i said i haven't um i haven't picked up anything yet um, and also, when I do, I can actually suppress it. I can, you know, I can actually make it go away with these. So yeah, earache, uh, lavender and melaleuca together, fantastic. Never put uh, essential oils in um, the ears uh, or in the eyes, for that matter, or in any, what shall I say, orifices? Is that a word? Holes. Just um, don't do it. Um, so you put it um, just just around around the ear, under, on top, and under. Um, and again, just do it, just use a little bit at the time, and then um, after an hour, maybe repeat until uh, they feel better. So you've got something at your hands that you can use immediately that is totally safe. So um, what's not to love? Uh, so we've spoken about, um, yeah, and Melaleuca. I mean, I have been, Last year I got bitten by, um, I don't know what the hell these little bugs are um, on grassy fields. Um, I don't think they're midgets, they're sort of a bit more in the grass. But they bit me in the ankles um, when I was doing a boot camp and um, it got massively infected. And so I went to the, the pharmacist and um, he said you immediately, uh, you need antibiotics. Um, you know, go to see a doctor or even go to A&E because that looks very, very infected. But... I'm not suggesting, by the way, that you should do this. If somebody tells you to go to A&E and see a doctor, do do that. But um, I am a little bit stubborn like that and really, really don't like to take antibiotics. Uh, and again, please do not think that I'm telling you not to take antibiotics. You take antibiotics when you're told to do so uh, or make your own mind up. Um, but I used um, Melaleuca on it and completely controlled it um, within no time. Um, so I was so pleased that I didn't need to use um, the antibiotics. And again, this happened uh, a couple of weeks ago. I had um, blisters on my feet. So um, I'm blessed with um, ridiculously big feet and my shoes never fit. And so, yeah, I thought I would fit my uh, feet in these um, boots um, while well, I did, but it wasn't a good fit. And then that got infected. And again, um, Melaleuca save the day so yeah that's another one um you know i'd call like a with lavender i'd call it like a first aid um essential oil now on an uh, emotional level um melaleuca is uh, very good to help you um protect yourself from negativity so if you like if you're a therapist or just have um friends that um drain you um, or, or you work in an environment where you're negatively affected uh, Melaleuca is great for that so you can um, you can buy jewelry where you can put the essential oil on the jewelry um, and so you just wear it and uh, on a bracelet or a necklace and um, and that will really help you to not absorb that negative um, that negative energy so it's great for that right steaming ahead a really simple one, but a really good one um, that um, I use every morning is lemon. So lemon essential oil, 
looks like that. And um, again, great to ingest as well. So you can use it in baking um, or in uh, drinks. Really nice in water. So if you're somebody who doesn't like plain water, um, lemon's really, really good for that um, because it won't erode the enamel on your uh, teeth if you use fresh lemon juice. Um, and so for years I've been squeezing lemons in the morning and putting them in lukewarm water, which is a great thing to do in uh, first thing in the morning to um, um, support your digestive system and uh, your kidneys. Um, but it does take the enamel off your teeth. Um, so lemon essential oil is made of the, um, I don't know if it's rind or rind, it must be rind, that sounds more normal, the rind of lemons. And um, it's very, very concentrated. So one drop um, is from several um, rinds. Um, and um, uh, there are way more active um, compounds in the rind than there are in the actual fruit. So you're better off uh, with the rind, but obviously you don't really want to eat the rind because hey, the outside's full of uh, pesticides and wax if you're unlucky and um, and it doesn't taste very nice but this is beautiful so this is what I do first thing in the morning lukewarm water and I put the um, like I said you can't do one drop with lemon it's got to be two because you pull the bottle back and um, and um, the oil um, comes out uh, a little bit more so but that's fine two drops in a glass and um, it's absolutely delicious um, it does the same and more. It's better than the juice of the lemons um, and um, you don't have the faff of squeezing lemons, which is a bonus to me. Any faff avoided early in the morning is a good thing in my book. So definitely um, a great uh, essential oil. All the um, citrusy essential oils are great for uh, lifting the mood so that's another bonus um, early in the morning um, for me it uh, takes a little while to um, get going in the morning so anything to um, lift my mood is uh, is a good thing um, so um, lemon is great for that um, but other any other citrus oils are good for that as well um, grapefruit wild orange is beautiful um, and smells uh, fantastic and you can literally feel the effects within minutes um, just smelling it or or ingesting it um, yeah so if you're interested in any um, if you think oh yeah you can bake with it what the hell do you do um, just message me uh, there are loads of recipes that I can um, that I can send you where you can use um, the oils baking uh, peppermint you can also use in um, uh, chocolate, maybe chocolate based uh, chocolate peppermint is a good good combination I think so um, peppermint very very potent uh, oil opens up the airways so anyone with any um, respiratory issues uh, peppermint is a great oil to use for that um, so if you have um, blocked sinuses uh, if you have a cold find it hard to breathe if you're asthmatic uh, it opens up the airways. You can even use this before exercise. Um, and it has shown um, scientifically to improve athletic performance if you inhale um, if you inhale the peppermint oil. So definitely um, a good one um, for any breathing issues. It's also very energizing. So if in the um, afternoon maybe you have a little bit of a dip and you need Pepping up and um, pepping up, get that peppermint. Um, so this one is great to um, just put a drop in your hands and then rub it together. Now you don't want to get this one or anyone, like I told you before, in your eyes. But you definitely don't want to get this one in your eyes. And you just inhale a few times. And I just put my my ring in the camera view. Nothing to do with essential oils, but that ring is actually. Do do that? Is that hand made by Michelle Carpenter? Um, so shout out to her. Um, so smell it. Opens up the airways. Um, also, if you've got a little bit of a headache, uh, could be a tension headache, a stressy headache. Um, really relieves this, relieves it. Uh, muscle ache. You can rub it straight on the muscles. Now, what's ever left in your hand, you can put one hand on your forehand and the other one in your back of your neck. It is very, very cooling. So any um, ladies with um, hot flushes, 
perfect. Um, cools you down immediately, or if you're just hot and bothered. Um, great oil for that. So, a good one. How are we doing? Three, five, six, seven, eight. We've got two left. And one is definitely one of the most beautiful ones. Now, talking about breathing, following on from peppermint, doTERRA has also created a blend that is specifically made for um, respiratory issues. Um, so it does uh, obviously contain uh, peppermint, but it also has some other, um, I need the glasses, uh, other oils in um, that support easy breathing. Um, so this is also great to add in a diffuser um, in the night. If you have a diffuser in your bedroom, which you should, um, then this is a great one, uh, especially if um, you have the uh, pleasure of um, sleeping with uh, somebody who snores. Or if you snore yourself, which of course you don't, then you put this in a diffuser and it will help uh, easy breathing, it will minimize snoring. So it's got peppermint in, it's got some uh, melaleuca, the tea tree in, it's got some lemon in, um, some uh, cardamom. Um, so it's just a mix um, laurel and eucalyptus. So it's, it's really, really um, nice smell. Very, um, well, you can definitely smell the peppermint in here. And uh, I also sometimes uh, rub some of this uh, between my hands and just smell it before I go for a run because it really opens up the airways and it really helps with um, running. Now, last but certainly not least is um, frankincense. Um, now, if you are um, Catholic, then um, I don't actually know. Um, I haven't really been in many other churches. Uh, maybe it's in every church. It's a very churchy smell. It's it's the um, the incense, the smell of the incense in the church. Um, I like it. I don't think it's an offensive smell. It's quite uh, perfumed. Um, but this is, um, with a reason, called King of the Oils. Um, it has so many uses. Um, it's known for cell renewal. That's why you find it in a lot of um, skincare products. Um, it is uh, also cell renewal inside your body, so it's, for cell health, it's uh, it's really good to ingest some frankincense every day. Um, and um, cell health is really important because if you start having problems with cells not being uh, um, renewed properly, maintained properly, or killed off when they need to be killed off um, properly, then you start getting serious um, health issues. Um, including cancer because that's um, related to um, uncontrolled cell growth. So frankincense is definitely an oil um, to help with that. And um, so you could mix some in with your moisturizer, put it on your face. Uh, it's a great um, painkiller as well. If you have any arth uh, arthritis, uh, any uh, joint, um, muscle ache, uh, headaches, uh, if you have headache, frankincense mixed with um, Peppermint and lavender is a great combination, but you can also use it on its own. Um, trying to think, there are so and so many other users, and uh, please, um, obviously, you know, doing a Facebook Live, I'm going to forget to mention things and um, and do um, do ask, and I can give you a way, way, way more information. We have useful booklets as well, um, but yeah, this is one that um, um, I definitely use every day um, and mix it in with every rollable um, that I make for um, for specific purposes. So you can mix in your diffuser if you want to make a cocktail and you can't go wrong. Um, even if it's something that doesn't work straight away on what you want it to work for, um, it will still do you some good. Uh, it won't harm you. And then you can just experiment and then try different ones if that's not uh, exactly the one that you, um, that you want to um, uh, use because you feel like another one could be more beneficial. You can experiment, and it's uh, that's what I like. It's safe, and then and often what I find, as you use the oils, um, you become a little bit more intuitive about it, which one you need, and um, and often you're right. The one that you're attracted to is the oil that that you need the most, which is you know pretty amazing. Um, and, and of course, I wouldn't say that if there were any sort of risks involved with that, and you could pick the wrong, uh, you pick up the wrong oil and do some damage. That's absolutely not the case. 
Um, so um, there is lots and lots to learn about the oils and, and, and maybe you think, oh God, I, don't, I wouldn't know where to start. And um, um, I'm not like that. I, when I like something, I, I completely immerse myself in, in, uh, in everything that you can learn about it. But I can understand that people look at the oils and think, oh gosh, what, you know, what do I do? I wouldn't know how to use them. I'm just going to get, I'm just going to get a, a Neurofen. Um, but the good thing as well with a company like doTERRA is because you don't abide in a shop and then go home and you know there's no uh well, there might maybe like a little instruction leaflet but with the doTERRA oils because you buy them from a person um a wellness advocate there's always someone to go to um to ask for for advice so um and if they don't know it obviously you know they're not uh, all knowing uh, gurus um, you know, they always have somebody to ask and you will always get an answer. There's lots of support uh, online on their website and they have blogs and recipes and studies. And so I like that about uh, about this brand is that, um, you know, I, I if I want to find out something, then it's very easy, easy to do that. And um, you, you're supported with the product, which is just really nice. Um, also, we, we regularly do um, classes, and this one was a, a very um, general one about the 10 uh, most used oils. And if you have these 10 oils, basically you have a complete medicine cabinet. Um, so I would say if you haven't used the oils yet, I would start start with these and then with, with these together and, and single use, um, you can sort out nearly nearly every issue that you come across. Uh, either emotionally or physically. Um, um, we also do classes, uh, themed ones, uh, on stress, on sleep, um, essential oils for children, for women. Um, we can do one for pets, um, because there are some things that you should probably know. Uh, if you have pets, then um, best not to use um, melaleuca on the pets, but there are some oils that are great to use on pets and then lavender is one of them but again we do uh, special classes and um happy to do um one-to-ones um we do wellness consults where um if you'd rather not go to a class and uh, discuss all your uh, issues um a one-to-one -one, or if you do then still a wellness consult is great because it just um addresses your specific issues and which oils are great for you to use and um, there is just so much to say about them I can't cover it all in a very uh, uh, in a very very short period of time and I don't want to bore you too long with this uh, too long with this with this tonight so um, if you feel that you um, have friends or family that um, would benefit from the oils or even if you don't feel that they would benefit but say um, that you wanted to um, tell them about it then um, we're very happy to uh, come to your house or you can come to my house or we have a venue uh, or we can do another one online um, specifically for you and your family and your friends um, where we can talk through either this again or any of the other uh, subjects that you may want to know about and if you're hosting one of those uh, classes then um, you will receive a, uh, a wonderful oily gift so that might be an incentive for you to um, to tell other people about it should you need one um, so you um, may wonder um, great you talk about all these oils doTERRA where do I get that no, I already told you you can't get it in the shops so you get it from wellness advocates and um, as it so happens I'm one of those so um, you could get them uh, from me um, the great thing is um, you can buy the oils um, um, separately but the best way to start if you haven't got them is to get one of their kits because you get a, a massive discount um, so the way it works with doTERRA is that you can buy wholesale uh, or retail but I can't really see a reason why you'd buy retail because you pay 25% more so um, get a wholesale account which works a little bit like a Costco account where you pay uh, 24 pounds for a whole year and you get um 25 percent off every product you buy um you're not obliged to buy anything so it's not like you're locked into some crazy club um that sends you stuff that you don't want um if you never have to buy anything again 
but um, you probably want to. Um, and um, so that would be the best way to go, the wholesale account. Once you've got your wholesale account, you can just log on and uh, pick your products. Like I said, if you need help, obviously uh, we're here to uh, support you uh, in your oily journey. Uh, so you have a better idea what to go for. And um, so after the £24 uh, pounds sign up uh, for your account, you can just pick your oils at your discount. And um, uh, but like I said, the best way is to get a um, kit that the Terra has already put together. Um, now, there are um, loads of kits uh, for all different uh, purposes. But um, uh, for me, the Home Essentials kit is just the one to start with if you haven't got any oils, because they've got exactly all the tan oils that I talked about today, plus that beautiful diffuser. So um, you just get, get completely started with this. Now, they've recently changed the prices. So I just have to make sure that I tell you the right price. So for £238.30, you get the whole kit with the diffuser. You save a lot of money it also includes your wholesale account so you don't have to buy that separately again so let me know um, if you want to um, start that oily journey um, I'm here to help uh, I can show you um, how to get your wholesale account or if you would like any more information um, message me call me leave a comment down below and uh, if you thought this is a useful video then um, please do share it with other people. Uh, thank you so much for watching, whether it was live uh, or um, on the replay. And um, I love you lots.